Hello and welcome to Chippy Trip Tips. I'm your host, Zach the Chippy, and this is the internet's most stoked tool review show. Today, we are going to take a quick look at what has easily become the most talked about hammer of all time. Now. Imagine what old mate could have got done if he had one of these. My pleasure to introduce to you all from the Martinez Tool Co, the M1 Framing Hammer and its little brother, the M4 Fixing Hammer. Right, so straight away, these are going to be a bit different to Mark's previous designs of the all titanium hammer. So both the M1 and the M4 feature the replaceable steel head. Mark's heads switch out of both the fixing and the framing hammer, so they're interchangeable and he does have other heads available the titanium shaft so when you go and stick a steel head on a titanium shaft you're going to put all the weight of this hammer up top the inertia and the power that you can generate because you've got such a light shaft man this thing really gets going uh, both the m1 and the m4 feature the side nail puller now this bad boy is going to give you a greater form of motion so from here all the way over which is great for if you ever got to get into a tight space or there's an angled nail, perfect. So it weighs exactly the same as Mark's previous all titanium designs. Using the steel head and putting all the weight up top is gonna provide you with a greater inertia when you swing your hammer, making your work 100% more efficient. Frame up Mark's angled, the face of the hammer head. So whenever you strike a nail, you're never ever going to flush it straight up 90 so there's no point the actual hammer head on any hammer being dead square to the shaft so that's where i found this is coming you've got huge made such a massive difference um when you strike the nail you get a hundred percent of the force the, the full contact of the face into that nail straight in um, like i said at the start both the m1 and the m4 feature the replaceable heads all you do is unscrew the nut at the back here the head pops straight off new head Straight on, done. All right, so when we break down these hammers individually, we talk numbers. Right, the M1 is coming in at 15 ounces, which roughly equates to 425 grams. A direct comparison to that, in Australia, most guys are running the S-Swing 28 ounce framing hammer. 28 ounces, 793 grams. So you ask me why titanium, I'm gonna tell you because it's gonna save you 368 grams every single step every single swing of the day you're doing a lot of overhead stuff you're finishing some joists off you're doing rafters man that's a big difference at the end of the day all right so i broke it down even further energy to move something in a gravitational field is given by the equation pe equals mgh i have no idea as a direct comparison all those guys that i see now using the s swing the big old 28 ounce sucker they're gonna every time they swing that hammer i roughly worked out to be about 1.85 calories of energy now every single time someone with a martinez hammer swings their hammer it's only going to use up 0.9945 calories of energy so i averaged out how many times i swing my hammer per day and it came out to roughly 74 times per day so swinging the martinez my arm is going to use 73.593 calories over 74 swings move the s swing that many times 74 times to swing it 74 times my arm is going to need 136.9 calories over 74 we're talking a difference of almost twice the amount of energy so if you've got more energy in your arm you can swing the hammer for longer you can swing it harder you can swing it faster i found it made a huge difference to the weight in my tool belt over an entire working week that's 14.7 kilos over an entire year that's 765.4 kilos Over the past month, me and these hammers have had a rad time swinging away. I even volunteered to strip out a job. That was a stupid idea! And I pulled every single one of these suckers out. At least three or four bags of these. Just to test it, to make sure that they work. Yes. These diamond bag bags, you gotta get, they're sick. So, I've been using the straight handled M1 and I found that this, this is an absolute joy to swing. Because it is lighter through the stem, you can really, you can build 
greatest speed through your swing. And then all of that weight up top, whenever it hits, whatever you're hitting, it is, that's it. It is either in or it is moving. And I've been running the M4 with a curve grip and wow, the curve grip, this is the way forward. I think I'm actually gonna order an M1 curve grip because I liked it so much. I've really, I've really loved using this, um, especially with a square head up there to get into tight little corners. And that beautiful little toothpick back here, this is an awesome hammer to use. So light in the tool belt for fixing, um, running a mallet as well. It's like, it's like you're wearing nothing at all. So I had a, someone say to me the other day, dude, that's a girl's hammer. It only weighs about half of what mine does. So I just ran in through Newton's second law of motion real quick, which states that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So basically, because I can swing this way quicker than I can swing a 28 ounce hammer, I can generate more force and because all of the weight of the hammer is up here death to all nails all in all the martinez m1 and m4 are absolutely awesome hammers i highly recommend all carpenters form workers anyone that's doing a lot of swinging with this sucker i cannot recommend it enough i give this amazing piece of machinery five stars Given that it's a tool that you use so much, you use it every day, you rely on it, it is definitely worth the investment. If you're currently using a Martinez hammer, please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're, if you're actually thinking about buying a Martinez hammer and you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Peace out, keep it real.